In the world of Skyrim, there are many holds spread across the far corners of its borders, which provide areas with such varying environments, architecture and tradition. With so many unique entities spread across this world Bethesda has presented us, I will provide a series of videos under the title I call The Nine Holds of Skyrim. Within this series, I'll take a deep dive into each capital of the Nine Holds and provide insight on their buildings, inns and history. My name is James, this is Dr Mustard, let's get started. Now the first capital we'll be looking at is the tall overarching city of solitude of Harfingar. Built upon a wide arch stood between the Karth River, Solitude has the biggest market out of all the cities due to the fortunes of ship trade and an advantage in voyages. The arch also provides shelter for ships kept behind the city. With these advantages, the East Empire Company was formed, which gave us several missions such as the Scoundrel's Folly and Lights Out. Solitude is the home to the Imperials, hence the reason why the Imperial questline begins within their walls. I will provide further information on Solitude when we go inside and look at all the buildings, but I will not be looking at the accommodations as they do not provide any insight on Solitude, such as Vittorio Vici's house and Yala's house. I may look at one civilian house to show the average life of inhabitants of Solitude to see whether they live in a positive or negative life to see if the civil war has shaped it in any way. Now I have told you the summarised history of Solitude, let's get cracking. So guys, here we have the great city of solitude. If you're wondering what that little black thing there is, I punched a rat to death or a saver. And yeah, here, we, here it is, the famous East Empire Company. Yeah. And the warehouse itself. It just looks like your average British day, isn't it? Anyway, let's make our way up to the solitude gate so we can give a full on you know insight onto the world of solitude. See you there lads. And here we are, the great city of solitude. A coin of buildings, a sort of architecture. Not much to ask. Probably the most developed city of all. Anyway, let's um hop into the winking skeever. Come on in. And here we are. If you need anything, probably my favourite building out of all of them, just because you know I love mead. All the good stuff. We've got some death bell. We've got our boy need something. Copulus Vinius. So you can get a drink. If you you can welcome to the winking you can rent skeever a room. friend. You can get bounties from this bloke, you can ask some questions, the you can, next time you're foot you know. And we have the bard here, Lisette, plays good music, gives us a good, good atmosphere, you know. Thanks, suits you know. Me. And we got an alchemy lab here, tedious, even better, but a well fantastic. Arrow strikes forth like and the um, we have gun. an Argonian mage, I have no already seen Argonian mage me. before. Oh, not a nice bloke. Anyway, moving on. And now we go into the Radiant Raiments, a shop for clothing, you know you can afford special events. Not necessarily for like armor and everything, I think it's for like, I don't know, for roleplay purposes really. And here we have the shopkeeper, Indari, she's not a very nice woman. I don't know why, but she's just a very um, annoying woman. Oh, Prompts you have, you can, you Another know, Let's see if we can't clothing. find an outfit that suits you. See, Barky the clothes, you know, perfect for role playing. If if you want to role play something like a blacksmith, this one's got you. It's also got amulets. Yeah, amulets of Mara. Pretty sure that's used to um, if you want to be married or something. Yeah. If a person like me who doesn't really use potions or does brewing. And you probably haven't been here very much at all. It's called Anginine's Aromatics, and this is probably one of the first times I've actually been here, and I've been doing this for months. Let me know if you see anything you like. So here it is, a very nice interior. It's beautiful actually. And we have this um we have all the things on display. Very open plan shop. We have all the gizmos, you know, you have the alchemy lab. It's fantastic. Here we have secret things behind here. Yeah. Moving along, we have bits and pieces. And now, I love this shop because whenever there's a dragon, I come here well. so I can sell all the dragon bones and the dragon scales and any other thing that weighs me down, like mammoth tusks and everything. I mean, mammoth tusks weigh. Yeah. Yes? Here we have the shopkeeper at Seymour. 
Welcome. She gives you Look all the around. stuff, you know. We've got everything you could want in life. It's very um very demanding really things that she's stuff. like a trader, so. And if you're curious as to why my game looks so good, I followed a mod list from the YouTuber RTD Vids. Something and to report. And supplied us with a 150 mods will want to take white run list, and it's absolutely we amazing. Will hold fast. I really recommend it. Here is Proud Spire Manor. I haven't unlocked it yet because I've done a new playthrough. But if you see, it's actually one of the accommodations you'll eventually get. So it's probably one of the most expensive ones in terms of not including Hearthfire. And it's just probably my favourite house because um and neighbouring Proud Spire Manor, here we have one part the beautiful Bard's College, look at this place, it's and just really nailed everything in solitude to be honest, just look at it, it's stunning, look at that. You will see there are ways to stay true anyway, this place specialises in Bard's, and if you don't know what that means, up. music, and here we have a little station where people do their lectures and everything, we have flutes, drums, you know, everything you need. It's great, it's fantastic. We have more rooms. Yeah. Books, lots of books. Yeah. yeah. Bars College also offers many accommodations for students, and I'm pretty sure you get your own if you join it. You have to do a couple of missions to get it, but once you do, it's worth it. Just look at this place. No point getting proud of our mana, because look at this place. Yummy. It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. And here we have the miniature graveyard, just adjacent to the Solitude Catacombs, which is connected to um, the Hall of the, the Dead. And here we have the Hall of the Dead. Now in every hold of Skyrim, in every capital, there's always a Hall of Dead, and it's always got some creepy backstory. In this case, you have to like go down this deep, dark cave, and it's a very cool quest line. I really recommend it. You've got the Shrine of RK here, if you want to get that. Let's see the blessing. Okay, so the blessing of RK increases your health by 25 points, and that's just... Yeah. And as I said at the start of the video, I will show you the average life of a civilian of solitude. And here we are in Erica's house, and it really shows that they actually live a really good lifestyle, and that's probably hence the power they have, the system, and everything. Normally in holes, they live a terrible lifestyle. There's always like these tiny shacks, but just look at it. It has its own little balconies showing all the floors. It's just phenomenal. Look at this. Bed. Man. If you went to Whiterun, those houses look tiny compared to Erica's. I mean, Erica's minted. Now we are entering the Blue Palace. This is where the Yarl Elisif lives. Elisif the Fair. Heavily guarded by people. And here we are. As you can see, this is where if she is, Yarl Elisif the Fair. My Be quick. Here's Fault I have little patience for over here. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, and yeah. This is also where you meet uh, Sheer Gorath. You have to go through this room and it's blocked by a key. Oh. And it's just, um, you unlock this really powerful Daedric weapon. I won't say what it is because I don't want to give you spoilers. It's really a good miss mission. And it links to Oblivion, the last game. And it's just really good. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Skyrim. Just look at it. This is the Temple of the Divines, and it's just stunning. And also, it shows you almost all of the um, shrines. And if you um, if you side with the Stormcloaks, the, the Shrine of Talos will appear well here because of their leadership. And yeah, it's stunning. And if you don't know, the Temple of the Divines is like the main Nordic religion in Skyrim. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really enjoyed it, I would greatly appreciate a like and a sub. If you want to be instantly notified for more fresh content, then click the notification bell. This has been Dr. Mustard. See ya!